What they should be doing moving forward is it should be uh, weaponized liquidity providers, and I think that makes more sense. I'm here with Denson and Rico from Santum and we're talking about trends in the industry and where it's looking moving forward. So thank you both so much for joining me today. Thank you, Jessica. Great to have you. So we're going to look at where things are looking moving forward, but I think what I'd like to ask you first is what kind of issues are we seeing in the industry? Is there anything that's particularly holding the blockchain and crypto space back? Well, firstly, we have exchanges. Uh, they are centralized services and they have been uh, holding tokens and projects, uh, they have been blackmailing them, they have been holding, holding them hostage and I feel that you know uh, this is pretty bad for the industry. Uh, what they should be doing moving forward is it should be uh, weaponized liquidity providers and I think that makes more sense. Uh, other than that we have uh, protocols. Protocols are always focusing on pretty much uh, tech and they are not doing much business development so we find very little adoption and major protocols in the world are focusing on transactions. Uh, speed of transactions, they are focusing on uh, building more tech, but what they should be focusing on is stability of the infrastructure. Because blockchain, like the internet, is like a base layer, it's like infrastructure. And uh, the infrastructure must be sound, uh, rather than like us. What we are doing right now is we are like building uh, sandcastles on, on like shaky grounds. Yeah. So that needs to be fixed first. And also if we look at moving into 2020, and Riku, I want to ask this to you, security tokens, is that something that you're expecting that will become more popular as the industry grows? I would say yes and no to that question. Yes, that the uh, security token is definitely uh, the way moving forward for most of the securitized assets and digitizing assets. And uh, it's going to be very crucial for the development of the digital economy uh, across the whole world. Uh, however, there are some challenges, uh, for example, liquidity issues in the, the security token exchanges that uh, we need to really uh, work on together with more traditional uh, investors and funds to make sure that there are enough liquidities to the security tokens. And now, just finally, so we are here at the Malta AI and Blockchain Summit and there's a lot of people from all over the world that are coming together. And one thing that a lot of people are wondering now is future price of crypto and where the market are heading. And I wanted to ask you both if you have a price prediction in mind, something that you think a certain... Let, let Dunstan do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, well, uh, I do predict that the price of Bitcoin at the end of the year should be around 12000 well, I have a pizza waiting for me. Uh, we have a bet with some of the blockchain leaders in the space. Uh, well, at least those in Singapore. And well, if it hits 12,000, I get my pizza. <laughs> so let's all the industry all work together and make sure I get, I get my food. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Thank you both so much and enjoy the rest of the summit. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that's all from us here. We'd love to hear how you found this interview. And do you agree with the price point of being 12,000 by the end of the year? Share your thoughts in the comments below.